In this lesson, we'll discuss ghosting animation and working with key brackets. Ghosting animation in 3D is similar to a 2D animator's image sequences. If we were to take all of those drawings and place them one on top of the other on a light table, that's exactly what we'd get with ghosting. So let's go ahead and learn how we can apply ghost to our ship. Now, we can access the ghosting tool under the views menu and just simply choose show ghosting. So the ghosting is going to show on all selected objects. You'll see that as we scrub our animation, we're going to be able to see these clones, these wireframe clones of our animated object. So this is helpful to see the path of action the object is traveling in, just to make sure that everything as far as that path as well as our timing and spacing is okay. We can clearly see the timing and spacing using ghosting as well. Basically how this works is that as our ship is further apart, as those clones are further apart, that means we're moving faster in time. And as they start to pile up one on, one on top of the other, that means that we're moving a little bit slower in time. So with the ship selected, if we were to go to the Customize menu, Preferences, under the Viewports tab, we can get to our different ghost settings. We can determine how many ghosted clones we'd like to have, as well as how many frames we'd like to show in the ghost. So one would mean every frame. We can set this to three if we like. And if we hit OK, now we're going to see a ship just every three frames. Now, going back to the preferences, we can also tell Max if we like to see the ghost before our current frame, meaning everything that would follow to our left. So we'd see a delay this way, but we could also see what would happen before in our animation, or basically what is called ghost after current frame. So using this, if we were to hit OK, you'll see that not only do we have ghosts showing us where our ship is headed, but it also has changed colors. And if you'd like, you can even show both. Okay, I like to leave it at the default setting here. I'll also set this back to one by right clicking our slider. Then if you like you could even um, tell Max if you'd like to see wireframe or to actually see objects. So if we hit OK you'll see that we actually have geometry in our scene and I would not recommend this because notice how Max would then start to lag. So I'll go ahead and change that back to wireframe so we can work a little bit more comfortable. And we can even see the frame numbers of each ghosted clone object so we know where each pose rests. So that's a look at ghosting and again it's great for looking at the path of action as well as studying the timing and spacing of your animations. Now key brackets, let me go ahead and turn off ghosting. Key brackets are nice because they allow us to see when we have keyframes on our selected objects in the viewport. Now this only works in wireframe mode. So if we were to go there, notice we see no selection bracket around our ship. But if we were to go over a frame that actually has a key, then we'll be able to see that we actually have animation on that frame because we see a key bracket. So we'd want to hold down the left mouse button and drag over those frames to actually see those key brackets. Now, if we were to toggle our selection bracket off, let's say if I were to go back to shaded mode and press the J key to toggle off that selection bracket, going back into wireframe mode, we're not going to see that key bracket at all. Also, there are even settings for the key bracket. So I'll go ahead and press J again. And we can go to the Customize menu, go to Preferences, and go to Animation. And you see that right at the top, there are our key bracket display preferences. And just a quick note, if we look all the way at the bottom, we actually have an auto key preference here where we can uh, basically tell Max if we like to add a key on the first frame when using auto key, or we can turn that on and even determine what frame we'd like to add our first key on. But I just wanted to uh, bring that up to your attention. But that, again, is a quick look at working with ghosting and key brackets in Max. So, Max has a lot of great animation tools, and again, we want to get really familiar and comfortable with those.
because uh, only then can we really have the most amount of fun when animating objects in this software package.